Hey guys, it's Randy and I'm back with an updated uh, flip through of my pocket rings. I know if you watched my last video, I said that I was just going to be in this standard TM and it gave pocket rings a run for its money, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm still using this. I'll probably post um, like a June recap and what I'm doing for July in here. Um, since I did put some new inserts in here, so I'll get that up sometime after this video. But, um, yeah, I, you know, committed to just putting this planner aside and accepting that I don't need to be in pocket rings, even though it is one of the things that make me very, very, very happy um, being in the planning community, or just, like, in life, I guess. It doesn't even have to be related to the community but um yeah I feel like a lot of my content was based around pocket rings too so I just I just felt really attached to this but I you know finally just put it aside but then Rosie posted on her Instagram story that Moterm came out with this pocket versa on um AliExpress and I just impulsively bought it even though I knew I wasn't in pocket rings anymore or for the time being oh gosh <laughs> yeah I got sucked in I mean it just oh, look at it it's a bigger version of this but look at it uh I needed it so I got it it came in three weeks which I was very pleasantly surprised about just because I've heard so many stories about Moterms taking like two months to get to people um but i was very very pleased with how quickly this came um i'll just say it again this is the pocket versa so um when i first saw it um i don't even think it had the name for maybe it did have the name versa attached to it but i just saw it as a Gilio mia cara dupe i thought that this was a really great find i love moturn planners so yeah this was like 60 dollars, and i am so happy with it i'll talk about this planner first and then i'll compare it to the regular pocket but first just about the size um this is what it looks like compared to the regular pocket yeah it's really big it's actually just about the same size as a foxy fix um, compact a6 tn there are two buttons here for snap closure, um, just depending on how stuffed your planner is. Um, I'll take this out. So it comes with this outside leather cover. It has a big back pocket. This um, pocket right here with snap closure. Pocket right here, a pocket right here, another pocket over here, and then a bunch of card slots. And this slip back here for a pen. Um, the actual like ring mechanism pocket ring planner part looks like this and it's about the same size as the regular pocket and I just slipped mine back here and on the inside um, there are some pockets right here right here and then card slots and nothing oh, I put it back, in. back here and this planner also came with a fly leaf so there are some card slots back here and a pen loop and this one is um, elasticized elastic has elast something but I don't have it in just because it made uh, the planner pretty bulky just to have a pen loop so I don't have it in compared to the regular pocket this is the milled one version by the way um, it's a bit stiffer than the updated version that they put out a few months after this. This planner has silver hardware. Uh, it comes with a silver button and then um, the ring. These are 19 millimeter rings. Will it fit if I put kind of? Um, this one came with gold hardware here and then brass hard, oh no, this is gold, brass rings. And these are 23 and a half millimeter rings, I think. Um, obviously not as many card slots and pockets. This one's a lot 
Uh, this one doesn't lay flat. I think the milled two one does lay flat. This one lays flat beautifully. And oh, the pen loop's really big on this and um, it's not elasticized, so it just kind of stays big. I've shown this planner a lot on my um, Instagram and YouTube, so if you are curious about this one, you can check those other posts and videos out, but yeah, that's how these two compare. Um, I love both of them. I'm probably not going to get rid of this one because I just love it so much and it was my first pocket ring planner and I, I do have some sort of attachment to it, so keep in this one. Um, so. Yeah, that's just an overview of the new Moterm Pocket Versa versus the regular pocket. And we can just get into the flip now. I'm actually gonna start from the outside cover, like the outside of the planner and then work my way in. So in the back pocket, I have some cash. And then in this pocket, I just slipped in some of my business cards. And the card slots go, they're on the outside cover. So uh, I just have some gift cards and medical cards in there. And I have my pen clipped to this flap. Um, yeah, it works. It's too big for me to want to put it in this slip. And then I, like I said earlier, the um, flyleaf just made this part too bulky. So I don't have it in there. Um, this works really well. Um, on the inside, I have my credit cards and my ID. Separate from these, just because if I do a flip, I don't want my ID showing here, but also um, if I wanted to just take this part of the planner with me, then it has my main cards in it, and that's convenient. I have this Ollie clip here. I I don't really like it when Ollie clips are just like there for decoration. This has a purpose. So if I wanted to take this planner just by itself, I can attach the Ollie clip to the back here and then take my pen, like how I have it with my standard TN, and it's all there and compact and beautiful. Not that if you use the pen loop, it's not beautiful. It just stuck out a lot and I didn't like that look. So alternative pen loop. Um, in this pocket, I have some stickers that I use in this planner. So just some little dots from my shop. These bow stickers from Ada's shop. These I just keep in here because when I take um, listing photos that use my pocket ring planner, I just stick these in the pocket. So these are here for convenience. This is the fold out uh, printable for daily planning routines and like a weekly routine, monthly routine, everything from Peanuts Planner Co. I haven't filled this out yet, but um, I'm gonna do that soon. And then I have this, this is just like, if I wanted a plain dashboard instead of the little dashboard setup that I have up, have right now. That's there, there's fingerprints, it's fine. And that's it for the pocket. Now we can get into, the guts of this thing. I love this so much. There are a lot of tabs. Um, I'll link where I got everything in the description box, but um, I'll just let you know now that most of the inserts, like 95% of the inserts in here are from Peanuts Planner Co. And the dividers are from my shop. Um, in the front, I have piece of acetate with a white grid on it and this picture of Missy that I move around my planners. Um, this vellum is from Ashley and Laz, Ashley's to-do list on Instagram. It's so cute. Um, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon recently, so yeah, obsessed with this. And oh, um, I have a year at a glance from Peanuts Planner Co. I have four main sections in this planner. Uh, the first one is plans and then budget, home, and then reference. So the first section is plans. It has four subsections, but I only have three uh, dividers because I didn't feel like having a divider behind a divider. So the first subsection is for my trackers. 
This is like my year in pixels for my mood. Um, I keep all of this information in my standard TN, like my, when I'm actually tracking it for the month, and then I'll just go in um, sometime later during the next month and fill in the colors. I have this tracker and I'm tracking my sleep. So these are the hours and I just mark the hours that we're actually sleeping. And then I have this fold out, which is supposed to be for tracking workouts. Um, this, I, it's not that I haven't updated this. I just, we, I have not worked out this month. Let's be real. Um, and then I have this tracker and I'm tracking my period in here. So uh, this might be TMI. If you wanna know, just message me. So those are my trackers, and then um, the next subsection is for future plans. I've shown these inserts before. Um, that's just for birthdays and future events that I know the dates of. And then this is this fold out is for any like any plans that don't necessarily have a date assigned to them or information pertaining to that month, but it doesn't really go anywhere else in my planner. Um, I haven't really been using this one because we just have not made any plans, but I do have another one for next year just in case like dates pop up. I have this insert in here. This is the trip planner insert. I just have this in here for fun. <laughs> We're not going on any trips soon. I don't have any trips to plan, but if I wanted to pretend like I'm going somewhere or something just to pass the time in my planner, then I have this there. The next subsection is for my future plans. Um, I'm just using these simple week on one page. This is basically just all of the information that I put in this monthly view in my standard TN, but on a weekly view. I, I just wanna use this planner, guys. <laughs> um, I don't care about the like redundancy or like if it seems like I'm wasting time, it just works for me, I'm doing it, it's my system. Um, and I have this tab down here to mark off the week that we're in. And then in the back, I have some dailies just in case I want to use a daily in here. And then the last subsection of my plan section is my work stuff. So I have a monthly in here. And then lately, like the last week, um, it it's kind of like the calm part of the month. So I don't need to be in my A5. So I just use some dailies in here and stick it in the middle of the month. Um, that we're in and yeah, just my little to-do lists. And then in the back section, I have some notes. These are the only inserts that aren't um, Peanuts Planner Co. These are from Thrive On Plans. And then the next section is for my budget. I've, or budget and expenses, mostly expenses, um, cause I don't really budget. I have this vellum that's from my Patreon. And this section is so small just show you <laughs> I've taken out a lot of pages that I just was not using so I have an online orders tracker this is just for my planner stuff just to keep track of that um, and then I have a paper clip oh and a bookmark that opens up to the um, current month so here um, I have the dates out I'll just mark when I spend money on planner things so that get, I spent money on uh, planner things on the 8th so that got a sticker. I have my bills here and then my expense tracking here so this is just like everything so like the planner stuff if we eat out or order in yeah get delivery. Um, groceries spend money on like apartment and stuff and then shop expenses go down here. And I have a few, I think just for the rest of the quarter, inserts for that, but I might put in enough for the rest of the year just so I don't have to worry about printing them out later. And the next section is called home. So this section has three subsections. The first subsection is just general apartment stuff. So um, bedroom to buy list and bedroom notes. That sounds funny, but I'll explain it on this one since it has some notes. So just like if there's something in that room that needs cleaning and has specific like things you need to do for it, like the bath mat. <laughs> so that's what I mean by like that room's notes. Um, and then on the back, it has a cleaning list. I could have explained this better, but I just, uh, it's fine. Um, yeah, just 
cleaning lists daily, broken down by uh, daily, weekly, and monthly. I just clean whenever I need to clean. <laughs> and then I have this um, reoccurring tasks insert. These are all of the monthly cleaning items. As you can see, I have not filled it out. I have cleaned and done these things. I just haven't filled it out, so. Um, yeah, and then I have this on the back to do a weekly cleaning schedule. I haven't done that either, it's fine. The next subsection is for my grocery guides. You've seen this before if you've watched my other videos or follow me on Instagram. And then the next, or the last subsection in this section is for recipes, so I, have not filled this insert out yet. That's okay. Um, the first one is just I want to make a list of all the recipes that I do want to put in this planner. And then I have these recipe inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. And then the last section in this planner is uh, my reference section. And this just has stuff that I want to reference. <laughs> so um, this is how I planned out um, one of my my past setup for my pocket rings and it just like inspires me a little bit. I like looking at it. Um, I also have a contacts page and a passwords page and in the very back I have this monthly fold out um, that I wanted to use as a tracker and then I talked myself out of it so I just have it here to cover up the um, passwords page but also just in case I actually want to use it. And then I have this in the back to attach the Ollie clip if I want to use it, but also to act as a page lifter and separator from the ring mechanism um, and its contents and the card slots. And that's it. Oh my gosh, that took forever. So yeah, that is how I'm using my new pocket Versa as my wallet and reference book. I still have to fill some things out, but that's, you know, fine. I do plan on changing it, um, the setup a little bit once some shops reopen so I can get some new inserts, but I'm really excited to be in this. I like being in a pocket rings and, um, yeah, I'm just really excited to be in this. I love it so much. I can't stop touching it. It's so squishy because there's so much leather, but yeah, it's great. Um, if I, when I do, um, update some of the things in here, I'll post another video and I'll, I'll start posting more on my Instagram. I've kind of, uh, stepped back from posting. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. I will get back, ooh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video, um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!